Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be how to farm the new final boss, uh, the brothers. So Estoros, uh, uh, Zeldris, and Melly. So this is the shop. Let me show you the shop first. The shop, obviously I have bought some stuff and I will buy some more. Uh, the shop is pretty bad. The best thing I'll probably buy is these three and the hammers. Obviously you are limited to how many you can buy a day. So do bear that in mind. But these are definitely... The shop isn't too bad. It's definitely not the best. It's definitely not as good as the really challenging ones. Which give you like pretty... Like you can buy Belmoth Claws and OG Demon Mats. But it's okay. So you might actually want to farm it. Or you might just want to farm it to get the total points reward. Which is up here. You may want to get all these rewards. So this is the team I would recommend using. So there are two drawbacks with this team. One of them, you may not get too many points. Second one is you need someone with Abyss. I would highly recommend someone with a high level Abyss ultimate. It doesn't have to be Rimmer, just someone with a high level Abyss ultimate and someone with a very strong AoE ultimate. So I, of course I'm using Rimmer, who's the best Abyss character in the game and the, the ultimate one is Kanor, who currently has the best AoE ultimate in the game. So this team you're running, you can run Fraudrin, but I will warn you, if you have a Fraudrin that's level one, it will level yours up. For example, mine is now level 10 when I tested it, which is kind of bad, but you know, I then switched to my Suicide Liz. Uh, it will always target the this your suicide character. I definitely recommend Mel in the back as well for the increased ult gauge. It means you can double rush ult mode. But anyway, let's just get into it. This is probably the quickest team I've currently found. Because the Abyss is really helpful. Because on the second phase, one of the characters, when you kill two of them, will have super high stats. So I do want to rush Rim result. Uh, um, we'll do this, because that means when she dies, I'm guaranteed... I can do this as well. So, I'm now guaranteed, because Liz gets two ult gauge, I'm guaranteed to get at least Rimmer's ult. Yeah, they will always kill. They will pretty much always kill. Sometimes you may have a slight bit where they might not kill, but 99.9% .9 of the times that they will kill. Uh, I am going to use this card just to get rid of it. Uh, use this, and I'm also then going to use this as well, just to get rid of it as well. This will do quite a bit of damage. Obviously, Escadal can't have his stats lowest, so that's the reason I'm using his card, because I, really, well, I don't really care about his stats. Uh, Estorosa did survive, but that is uh, expected. And there you go, there's the kill from Rimuru. Obviously, I do have Merlin's Relic, so Merlin's Relic is really helping. Uh, uh, what's it, Rimuru? That will that is a thing, so I am sorry that it may not be 100% accurate, but she, if you are a, like a long time player and you really do want to farm this, then you probably end up having, you you might have a 6-6 six, six Abyss ultimate person, but you might not. This is the reason I recommend Abyss, because sometimes they don't always die, but I will, you'll see here that you, you actually, like, you these guys can take like 400k damage each, because they hear 6-6, six, six. they go 450k each, so it will guarantee kill them as long as you do a little bit of damage. And that's it, it's super easy to farm. 40 points, 3.4k, that's not too bad. It might take you like 10 times, of course. Uh, you know, you, you won't get this one. You can also just select them with food. You don't have to run food. If you don't want to run Merle in the back, you can run old gauge food. If you want to run um, Brawler, uh, Ragnarok Barn in the back, you know, for the increased attack related stats, which you might want to do. But obviously if you do do that, you will have to realize that you will also be lowering the enemy stats, so they may not kill your suicide character. That is a slight warning. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. If this, this video helped you, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.